and rolling. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Uh, Jake here again um, with Jake and Carissa. And just we were going over this program of how to love yourself. And this kind of metaphor just came to me. We started writing it down and we're like, we have to put this out there. So uh, we feel strongly that this is a message that a lot of people can benefit from. Feel free to, to let your friends know and stuff like that about it. But here we go. Um, again, this is all about how to love yourself. Okay. Our program, how to love yourself. We've got a free mini course out there on how to love yourself. So, um, check it out. Basically, if we're here, right, you are here and we want to get to a place where we're kinder to ourselves. We're a little bit nicer to ourselves. Uh, and, and, we, we start on that road of loving ourselves that we want to be over here. Where we want to be. And what I mean is, is where we want to be with our relationship to ourself. Okay. Well, how do I get from here to there? Well, pretty simply, we build a bridge. Okay. We build a bridge. Now, I actually have built a bridge, uh, the Gerald Desmond Bridge. I was part of that project in Long Beach, California. Uh, amazing project. But when we build these bridges, right, we're going from here to there. We got to have some structure. Um, that bridge happens to be a two tower bridge. And it has two supporting towers. Cable stay suspension bridge. And when we have this bridge, okay, this bridge, this roadway is basically... Our inner voice can you guys see that um, so our inner voice is basically this roadway okay everything that goes over this bridge right what goes over a bridge cars cars go over a bridge right so we got little cars we got little cars going over bridges. All right, these are my these are my little cars. Don't worry about it. Okay, um, we got little cars going over bridges. What else goes over bridges? Semi trucks. Semi trucks go over bridges. Big old big old semi trucks, right? Big old things. All right. If you start thinking about your inner voice, and you start thinking about all these cars and trucks and buses, and you start thinking of these things as emotions, as experiences, as your interaction with the world and the relationships around you, we can understand that it's a flow of experiences. It's a flow of traffic. And what happens when we get hung up on an emotion, right? What happens when we get hung up on an emotion? We have an accident. Wow, there's a big accident. There's a big accident, okay? What happens when there's a big accident? When there's a big accident, all of a sudden, all your emotions behind that accident pile up. Even on the other side, by the way, there's two sides to a road, right? So you got things coming in, things going out. You got two ways traffic. You got the way that you're experiencing the world and the way that people are experiencing you. When you have a, an accident, when you have an emotion, an unprocessed emotion, What's happening to all those other emotions? What's happening to everything else? You ever have that where something throws you off and you just can't get past it? It ruins your whole day, it ruins your whole week. It might ruin more than that, okay? What about a childhood trauma, okay? When these things get unprocessed, we have a big pile up. We have a pile up of emotions and we, we got to clear the wreck. What happens at that point? The cops come, the paramedics come, right? The help comes to clear up that wreck so that we can get things flowing again. Well, we're actually trying to be part of that help, okay? So as you're considering your bridge, I want you to consider what your two pillars are, okay? Your big pillars on your bridge. Um, we've got an awareness. Because until we are aware and we can actually turn on and tap into that that consciousness of, wow, okay, that's an emotion I'm feeling. What is that emotion I'm feeling? Until we can get there, 
we're we're just running around like like a little kid throwing temper tantrums anytime that we have it. Well, we can be aware of, wow, that cut me off in traffic, right? Boom. If someone cuts you off in traffic, that's like a little car. Okay, that's like a little that's like a little thing. Okay. Somebody cheats on you, that's like a big thing, right? That's gonna be a semi truck. That's gonna be a semi truck, semi truck pile up of emotions and a whole bunch of other stuff that you honestly might take years. It could take a long time to process. Okay, if you've been cheated on, you know how that feels. Okay, um, the other thing besides awareness that we want to go over is honesty. Now, I've thought a lot about what the two pillars are. Um, I'm sure uh, everyone in the, in the field of psychology would have some arguments about this simple little bridge metaphor that I have and well, this should be really the pillar. And if, that, if this gets into a whole line of discussion and a whole, a, a whole field of, of, of thought and everything, that's awesome, I'm happy about that. And if you find my, my pillars imperfect, that's cool because that the discussion is where we all build and where we all grow, okay? But honesty. Honesty. We got to get honest about how we're feeling about everything that we're interacting with. We got to get honest about our part. We got to get honest about their part. We got to get really honest and we can't get really honest until we have an awareness. So we feel like these two are like the pillars of our bridge. Okay. In order to get from where we are here of Man, I'm having a hard time. I'm struggling in life right now. You know, if, if you're here and you're in, in, your, in your days, you're, you're, you're just struggling to, to get out of bed. You're struggling to, to interact with the world around you. You're struggling to have relationships. You're struggling to like your kids. You're struggling to, to like your parents. You're struggling to whatever you're struggling with. If you want to be in a better place, the first thing we got to start doing is understanding. We've got emotions going out. We've got emotions coming in. We've got everything that we're interacting with. And... And we got to understand how we're going to deal with these and process these. Okay. So um, maybe we can figure like on our metaphor, maybe we can think of cars as like thoughts. Okay. Maybe we can think of trucks as emotions. Maybe we can think of bigger trucks like semi trucks and, and, Obviously, that might be pickup trucks, right? Uh, semi trucks can be triggers, like super big things. And then you can have buses. And buses can be your beliefs. Okay? And I'm sure you can think of more things that can go. Motorcycles, we got motorcycles, right? We got motorcycles, can't, think, can't forget about those. So as you're thinking about this, maybe take out a pen and paper and draw out your own bridge and you start to consider how you're interacting with the world around you and when those thoughts come up and when those emotions come up and somebody pisses you off right or or something happens to you that was so far out of your control that there's nothing like where's my part in that right i had nothing to do with that that person hurt me for no reason these are emotions and we got to work through them to clear our roadway so that we can get into a place where we have an experience we're able to look at it and we're able to analyze it in motion, right? Like that's where we ultimately want to be. Somebody cuts us off in traffic. Wow, dude. Wow. I, I'm sorry. I got to get somewhere so quick, you know, like that sucks, you know, but you don't all of a sudden ruin the entire experience of everybody who's driving with you by turning it into a fit of road rage, trying to drive a motherfucker off the road. And I digress. Okay. So I want you to, I want you to be, I want you to be careful uh, not be careful, but at, I want the goal here is to be able to understand and process our emotions and the way that inter we interact with the world around us in a nice and healthy way because it's honestly going to relieve us of so much unnecessary stress. Okay, on our way to being a little happier, being a little kinder to ourselves, being a little nicer to ourselves. Okay, hope you got something out of this bridge of belief. Okay, hope you got something out of this bridge of awareness, however you want to call it, bridge of emotion. Just a bridge of emotion, okay? Um, I want you to... And thank you for putting up with our... This is our first studio, guys. We're bringing this stuff to you. Um, not self-conscious about this stuff at all, all right? 
neither of us are, but we, you guys, thank you for being on this journey with us of, of exploring, uh, can I be a little nicer to myself? Can I be a little kinder to myself? And how do I do that? Okay, so uh, we got a free mini course. Make sure you follow us on Instagram. Um, make sure you, um, you know, we got a full course too. If you really want to get into this, we got a full course. So, so check it out. But uh, how to love yourself, bridge of belief and bridge of awareness. Okay, thank you. My name is Jake and uh, we'll see you later. Hey.